Radioactive decay is the spontaneous breakdown of a nucleus to form a different nucleus. When a nucleus decays, energy and often particles such as protons, neutrons, and electrons are ejected from the nucleus. When a reaction decays, and we describe that reaction using words, some words that we see are bombard, absorb, emit, and release. Bombard means to attack. So it should be on the reactant side. Whatever is bombarding is on the reactant. If something's absorbing something, it's taking it in, so it's going to be on the reactant side. If something's being emitted, it's going to be giving that off, so it's going to be on the product side. And if something's being released, it's letting it go, so it should be on the product side. On our first sample problem, it says silicon 27 releases a beta particle. Remember that that 27 is the mass. So the mass goes on top. Silicon's atomic number, which is 14, goes on bottom. It releases a beta particle. So the beta particle should be on the it releases a beta particle, which means the beta particle should be on the product side. Beta, remember, was 0, negative 1, E. And it's going to turn into something else. Now, this is exactly like what we did previously, where we're just adding and subtracting. So 0 plus 27 gives me 27, and something minus 1 gives me 14 which is 15. I look on the periodic table and 15 corresponds to phosphorus. Go ahead and pause the video and try these next four on your own. Restart when you have your answers. So nitrogen 14 is bombarded with an alpha particle, which means the alpha particle should be on the same side. And we wind up with fluorine 18. The next one, copper 63, absorbs a proton and releases zinc 64. So that one's done. 238.92 absorbs a neutron, and finally that turns into. Make sure that when you're solving these, that you're putting the H or the N and the correct numbers. A lot of times on the test, this is the section people do very poorly on because they don't realize what absorb or release mean, and they forget the symbols and numbers that go along with each of those particles. So magnesium 26 is bombarded with a beta, so it should be on the same side. And 12 minus 1 is 11. A lot of times a particle does not decay just once, but it decays multiple times. We call that a decay series. So several naturally occurring radioactive isotopes decay to form a product that is also radioactive. When this happens, the initial nuclear reaction is followed by a second nuclear reaction, and so on if the situation is repeated. Eventually, a non-radioactive isotope is formed, and that will end the series. So the reacting nucleus is the parent, and the product is its daughter. This is a type of problem you could see. Americium-241 undergoes a series of decays in reaching the final stable nucleus of bismuth-83. Show the first four decays, which are alpha-alpha, beta-alpha. So we start with this one. It gives off an alpha. So that's our first reaction. And then our product, is going to give off an alpha.
And now that product is going to give off a beta. And that's our product. And finally, uranium-233 gives off an alpha. So those are our four, first four reactions. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. Restart when you're done. So because it says we have to write the seven decay equations, we have to do it like we did a second ago, showing all of the equations. If it only wants to know what the final product is, we can do it much shorter. We'll do the much shorter after I put the answers to the decay equations up. So this is what you should have gotten. The final product was 212 lead. Okay, so I'm about to erase this and then if it had only asked what the final product is, then you could have done it much shorter. So let's look at how to do that. If it only wanted to know the final product, we could have said 232, and it undergoes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 alpha, and 2 beta. So just like we've done before, 5 times 4 is 20, 2 times 0 is 0, so 20 plus 0 plus something gives you 232. That's 212. And on the bottom, 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So 10 plus negative 2 plus something gives me 90. Which is 82. And 82 corresponds to lead. So you could have, could have gotten the same final product regardless of which way you went. Obviously this way was much faster than writing out all seven equations.